It's time for the BB Bra Olympics or, or the BB Olympics. That's right, guys. Today we're gonna be putting BB through all of the Brawl Olympics events to see how she compares to all of the other brawlers in the game for each event. After you're done watching this video, make sure you go ahead and check out Lex's video on BB versus all of the brawlers in the game as well. There's a link in the description below. For starters, guys, BB is an epic brawler with very similar artwork to Bull. Personally, I think she looks like his little sister. <laughs> No one beats the ball! Now that we've got a good look of her artwork, let's go ahead and get started. Brawler Overview. Now for BB's regular attack, she swings a bat out that deals damage over a massive area. There is a short delay between when you actually press the attack button and when she finally releases the attack, uh, similar to like how Frank's attack actually works out. However, she's still able to actually move around like Frank during this time. Now once all three of her ammo slots are full, she starts charging her special ability, and that makes it so that her next attack will actually push back enemy brawlers and it only takes two seconds for that special ability to charge. Now with that knockback means that she'll actually reset brawler animations. This means that it will actually prevent brawlers like Frank from using their super. She can also use this ability to cause brawlers to drop the ball in Brawl Ball, to push brawlers into the smoke in Showdown, uh, or to push people away from the mine in Gem Grab or Bolts uh, in Siege. Now when her special ability is charged, her bat gets slightly bigger and starts to flash a different color so that you can actually tell if an enemy BB has their knockback charged up. Now her star power is actually tied in with her special ability. Whenever her special ability is fully charged, BB gains an insane boost to her, her movement speed when she's maxed out. Now for her super, BB shoots out a bubblegum bubble that travels an insane distance and continues to bounce off of walls until it eventually pops. And it is actually able to deal damage to the same target multiple times. The range test. BB actually has like a really funny uh, range test because her regular attack range is one of the shortest in the game coming in at three and one thirds tiles. This is actually the third shortest range in the game and her range is actually like one third tile shorter than Rosa's range. But on the flip side of that, her super has a ridiculously long range. In fact, the training cave isn't even wide enough for it to, for us to measure it going one way and then going the back way. You have to take her into a normal map to test it out. It's wide enough in a normal map for her to attack from one side of the wall, have it bounce off of the other wall, and almost come completely back to the original wall. In total, her super range comes to an incredible 40 tiles, which is almost double the total range of Jesse, who previously claimed the first place prize of the range brawl olympics event the survival test now bb has a maximum health of 5880 at max level that's actually the same amount of health as daryl currently is balanced right now but the survival test isn't only about health it's also about being able to heal or shield yourself from damage she doesn't have any way to do either of those things which does impact her survivability Against the sniper bot, she's able to survive for 15.3 seconds, which actually ties her for 12th place with Spike, who actually gets to use his star power for some added health. The race test. Without BB's star power, she has a regular movement speed of 2.57 tiles per second. This would normally tie her with Frank or Rosa for 11th place, which is pretty impressive by itself. She's definitely faster than most of the brawlers. But with her star power, her regular movement speed increases by 16%, giving her a movement speed of 3.07 tiles per second, which is absolutely crazy because it doesn't require anything like a, a super for her to actually like have that ability. In the race test, this actually places her in sixth place with a racing time of 9.8 seconds, which is right between Carl and Daryl. Now aside from Mortis, she will actually have the fastest movement speed that is not limited to her having to like have her super charged up. And if you are not using Mortis's dash, she'll actually be the best brawler for traveling long distances. The reload test. BB has an incredibly fast reload speed. It takes her 4.65 seconds to unload and reload three shots, which comes down to a reload speed of 1.55 seconds. Now, as a reminder, I'm actually looking at her total reload speed, which includes her attack cooldown, her attack duration, and then like the actual reload speed. And that actually means that her reload speed is the exact same as Frank's, which ties her for having the third fastest reload speed in the game. 
the attack test. Now for BB's regular attack, she's able to deal 1,820 damage, whether or not her special ability is charged. This actually places her in 15th place out of the 26 brawlers, which means that she's in the middle range for attack damage. She's actually right between Carl at 1,792 for a single attack, and Barley at 1,904 damage with a single attack, and this is actually less damage than when she was filmed uh, for the Brawl Talk. The Super Test. Now, BB Super deals 1,400 damage whenever the bubble hits an enemy target. Most of the time, it's only going to hit a target once, but if you're skilled, it may hit twice, dealing 2,800 damage. It's possible to hit more times, but it's uh, pretty unlikely that that will happen in most cases. Now, this would actually place BB in 12th place for the super damage test, tying her with Spikes and Dynamite's super. However, in the perfect scenario, which is what actually counts for the super test, BB can push the bot between these two walls where the bubble has constant contact with the bot. In this case, the bubble is able to deal damage to the bot eight times, <laughs> allowing her super to deal an impressive 11,200 damage. And this places her in third place behind Crow, who can deal 11,760 damage to the boss if conditions are perfect for him as well. The charge test. Now for the super charge test, BB's able to charge up her super with three attacks. Against a single target, it takes her 2.3 seconds for her to do this. Now for reference, this is the same amount of time as it takes Dynamite, Frank, Piper, and Ricochet for her to actually charge up her super. And the last time I updated the charge test, this would have placed her in eighth place. However, the last time I updated it was back when there were only 21 brawlers in the game. So her actually rank is likely a little bit worse than that. The boss test. BB's also really interesting to watch in the boss test as well. Now she starts off by pushing the bot up against the wall with her special ability. Then she charges up her super with a couple more attacks. And because of how, how the wall is positioned, each super can actually hit the bot four times. And with the combination of her super recharging her super and her regular attacks also recharging her super, BB is able to throw out tons of supers over and over and over again. And in total, she's actually able to take the boss out in 22 seconds, <laughs> placing her in second place, which is four entire seconds faster than Rico. That is insane, and it means that she's actually able to deal an average of 4,464 damage per second. Which is crazy. Now, I should also try to note that I tried doing this where I pushed the, the bot up against between these two walls so that you could compound her super even more. And once the bot is in position, it only takes eight more seconds for her to take out the bot, which is really crazy. But it does take her 14 seconds to get the bot in place. So this doesn't actually help her in the competition. However, I will mention two quick things. First is the fact that this allows BB to reach the highest possible damage in one single second against a single target at an insane 18,819 damage in, a, in one second. And second, uh, it's uh, incredibly satisfying to watch her spamming bubbles so fast. It's, uh, it's pretty hilarious. The Swarm Test. Now, in the Swarm Test, if BB completely accurately aims her shots perfectly, she's able to take out two rows of bots uh, with a single super. And it does have to be perfect because the super has to bounce back perfectly as well, which means that one little degree off can actually make it so she does not hit all of the all of the bots. Now, this took me a ton of times to record, but if done perfectly, she is able to complete the Swarm Test in 4.2 seconds. And that actually ties her with Shelly for fourth place in being able to complete this challenge. Challenge. This actually places her between Rico at 3.5 seconds and Carl at 4.4 seconds. And also as like a totally random side note, in my last swarm test video, I actually missed out on Terra being able to complete this challenge in 3.3 seconds. I've actually adjusted the ranking since then to reflect Terra at that speed as well. The dive test. Now in the dive test, BB is able to throw out a super, run toward the turret, and barely hit it with her bat before she dies. Then her super bounces back from the siege wall, which is actually wider than even a regular like brawl ball map and it bounces back and is able to hit the turret one more time. In total, she's able to deal 4,620 damage to the turret with a single dive. Now this places her in 21st place, which is not super impressive, 
Uh, she's between Carl at 4,704 damage and Mortis at 3,780 damage. But I will say that since actually releasing the dive test video, the Ike turret mechanics have changed a bit, which actually might impact BB's position and make her rank slightly higher. Either way though, she's certainly not much of a diver, but if she can get into a position on a map with a wall protecting turret, her super might actually be able to deal massive amounts of damage to the turret and surrounding enemy brawlers as well, which is uh, definitely a good reason to use her. The push and pull test. Now as far as BB's pushback mechanic goes, we can compare the distance of the knockback to the other brawlers that also have some type of a knockback. She's able to push the bot four tiles back, which is actually a lot of control. This ends up placing her in second place for the push and pull test. Now for reference, that's actually an entire tile further than Dynamite Super can actually push a brawler back. And that, my friends, is the BB Olympics. Now obviously there's more to this update than just BB. There's four new skins, Club Mail, the Retropolis environment, some minor balance changes, specifically like nerfing Rosa, thank goodness. And then adding and removing certain maps and also like some bug fixes and stuff like that. All that's really fun and exciting. There wasn't really like a, a ton of stuff coming into the update. If you're really curious about all the details, you can absolutely check out the official patch notes on Reddit. Now guys, I gotta ask you, okay? I'm really curious how you guys like this new format when it comes to showing new brawlers. I've tried showing new brawlers quite a few different ways and I really want to know if this is your favorite way or if you'd prefer for me to do it a different way. Is there something that you would like to add or take away from the Brawl Olympics events like this? And do you feel like this was even useful and entertaining? Please drop a comment below letting me know what you think. And for now, guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.